I'm going to wrap up by saying that I think this has been a great discussion about the management of MDS. And I'd like to get some final thoughts from you about the field and about how you look after your patients and, and maybe some pearls of wisdom for, the, uh, for community practitioners. Thank you so much for asking me to give uh, my personal experience with these patients and where I think the field is headed. It's a very exciting time in the, uh, in the study and treatment of myelodysplastic syndromes. At one stage, uh, I had started feeling very depressed that the last drug to be approved for use for MDS was 10 years ago. And why are we not doing better with our patients? But you know, the devil lies in the detail, James. For me, it's the individual patient taking care of every single person who comes to the clinic becomes so important. And how can we help this particular patient? And honestly, I feel so much better off today than I did before in understanding their disease, in offering them better options for supportive care measures, in offering them disease-modifying drugs, in some targeted therapies. So I personally, at the thought of what is available now, the ability to go in and use uh, cutting edge, almost godlike technologies like CRISPR, which are uh, uh, molecular scissors that you can use to go in and splice out mutations and correct the mutations. Just the excitement in the whole area of cancer research where we can, we can do some of these things in real time give the patients back their own cells with their corrected um, stem cells, um, those kinds of things, plus the whole burgeoning field of immune therapies that's coming along. Uh, my one very firm belief is that all successful treatment of cancer seems to be, besides surgery, seems to be immune-mediated. This is especially true for myelodysplastic syndromes, because think of what works. For lower risk MDS, we have lenalidomide, which is immune modulatory. We have ATG and cyclosporin, which are immune suppressive therapies. Then we have hypomethylating agents, which now it has been shown may not be acting by, by a hypomethylation effect, but may actually be acting by, by upregulating endogenous retroviruses in a cell so that the cell gets fooled into thinking there's a virus infection and mounts an immune response against it. Yeah. And then the thing which ultimately cures MDS is supposed to be a bone marrow or stem cell transplant. How does that work? That works by having an, a robust graft versus host reaction, which stimulates the immune system. So if that graft versus host reaction isn't there, there'll be no stimulation. And the, when, we, when we transplant from identical twins, often there's, it doesn't work because there's no immune stimulation. So what I'm saying is that this burgeoning field of immune therapies that are becoming available, whether they are CAR T's or antibodies or vaccines or natural killer cells or armed dendritic cells, all combinations of these. I feel that given all the panomics technology, the druggable therapies, the immune therapies, everything that's available makes me just feel so grateful to be alive in this moment in cancer research. I can't believe that I have lived so long to see all this happen and evolve. So I think it's a very exciting time. I want to encourage everybody to participate in clinical trials, study your patients as much as you can, give them the benefit of the latest cutting edge technology and the best therapies. Well, that is an eloquent, uh, an eloquent final thought or series of thoughts that you know, clearly mean we'll be having another panel discussion at some <laughs> point. Uh, I would say there have been clear advances in supportive care and we have had clear advances in diagnostics. We have systemic therapies that work at least for some patients, and novel combinations coming, I think, that will hopefully make an impact to some of the ones you've mentioned. And so um, we have to be patient. We have to treat it one person at a time. We have to give these treatments time to work. But I'm, I'm hopeful for the future as well. So on behalf of our panel, thank you for joining us.